Welcome to this session friends. My name is Yogesh. In this session, we are going to discuss on AWS EC2 instance creation using AWS CLI. I believe you have already watched my first video which was introduction to EC2 instances and then second video which was on uh, creation of EC2 instance using AWS Management Console. Because uh, if you haven't watched those videos, so it may be a little bit difficult for you to understand this one. So I'm uh, beginning with this video friends. Okay. To create uh, EC2 instance using CLI, we have to check a couple of things. First thing, which region or availability zone we are going to choose or before creating instance, you can check what is the health status of that particular region or availability zone. So you can use the commands which have uh, listed on my screen. Then to launch instance, uh, you have to follow this command AWS EC2 run instance. Image ID is AMI ID. AMI is uh, basically Amazon machine image. Then count how many instances you want to launch. Then instance type, like whether you want to launch T2 or M4 nano or M4 large or extra large. So key name, key name is basically your SSH keys. If you remember in graphical session, we have generated keys. I'm going to use my existing keys here. Then user data, if you want uh, something or uh, some commands to be executed once the server boots first time, you can uh, supply user data. This is the format to supply. Then subnet ID, subnet ID, like which subnet uh, you want to choose. I'm going with public subnet. In case you go to your custom subnet, you can choose that. Then security group ID, security group ID, that's basically firewall setting. I'm going to use my existing security group, which I created for uh, web server. Then uh, once you run this command, it will give you output about your new instance. And uh, you can check what is the progress of uh, that build using uh, this command, AWS EC2 get console output, followed by dash test instance dash ID, then instance ID, instance ID you will get uh, in step number two. Then I'm just uh, doing some set because uh, the data is uh, not like properly readable. If you want uh, in a proper way, you can uh, do set as I did here. Then once your instance closed, just connect it using SSH and uh, your PEM file. So that's easy. Let's begin technical session, friends. Okay, friends, uh, this is my AWS CLI server. On this server, I have already configured uh, access key and uh, access key ID. Let me show you quickly, AWS configure. This is the access key ID and this is the access key and uh, I have chosen reason US West 2. You can choose whatever reason you want. Then I set default output uh, to none because uh, I don't want to use any specific type of output format here. Enter. So, so first thing which I said we have to check status of uh, all the regions or which region we are going to use. So I'm going to run this command AWS CC to describe regions. This will tell me all the regions which are available. I'm doing output in table format because that easy to read here with this command. Okay, if you see these are the regions, Amazon regions where EC2 service is available. And if you want to check uh, availability zones or their status, so let's check for AP Southeast one, like what is the status of all availability zone in region AP Southeast one. Here I have not uh, typed output is equal to or output uh, type uh, table. So this is default format, which is JSON format output. And if you see this state is available, so region is uh, available so both regions are available if you want to see same output uh, in a table format you can use output table it will give you in tablet form so see uh, this is the same output only thing it's easy to read that's up to you uh, which output uh, type you feel comfortable okay so friends to create instance i'm going to use uh, these values let me show you
okay so i'm going to use this particular ami this is the ami id which is red hat 7.2 instance type i'm going to use t2 micro and the key i'm going to use my existing key which is uh, having this particular name subnet id i'm going to use this particular subnet for security group i'm going to use this particular security group okay uh, I believe you remember in last session, which was uh, EC2 instance creation using AWS Management Console, I have explained every bit. If you still have doubt, you can watch that video. Otherwise, I, I will give you a little bit idea here. If you want to see what is the image ID, which I'm going to use. So this is the image ID I'm going to use. I'm running command AWS EC2 describe images followed by tad dash image dash id then image id it will tell me a little bit about uh, this particular image okay so it is saying image not found okay so let me check okay this image id it is six is missing okay so see this is the image detail this is rhel 7.2 virtualization type is hvm and hypervisor is zen this is the image id state this image is available when I use this image, it will create this device dev as DA1. Delete on termination for that particular EBS volume is true. This is the snapshot which will be used to restore and 10 GB drive will be created. Volume type is GP2 and encrypted it false. As I explained in last video, with this image uh, or by default uh, at Amazon, all the root or operating system drives are not encrypted. If you want to encrypt, you have to use your custom software or any third party. And this is a 64-bit platform. This is the image location. Root device will be EBS device. This is the owner. I believe this is Red Hat who is the owner. And uh, these are the details when this AMI was created. And this is machine image. And this is the description. This is provided by Red Hat. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, key pairs. Let me show you what key pairs are available in my account. Okay, I created this particular key pair, which is, uh, you can say, RSA key. I'm going to use this one for communicating without password to my server. And also, let me show you security group. This is a security group which I created. Uh, this is a security group ID which I created uh, using graphical session. Let me show you what it contains. Output in table format so you can easily understand it. Security group is basically your firewall kind configuration. So on this particular security group, I have a load uh, traffic on port 80 and port 22 to this particular instance from anywhere. If you see that IP ranges from anywhere, they can accept traffic on port 22 and port 80, which is uh, HTTP and SSH. Okay, so that was a little bit about these instances, friend. So let's launch our first instance. AWS EC2 run instances sorry instances then image ID let me copy paste the data that will be easy okay AWS EC2 run instances followed by dash dash image ID this is the AMI ID count one it means it will launch only one instance if you want multiple you can uh, put the count depending upon your limit ec2 instance launch limit uh, you will be restricted otherwise you can launch two three four whatever limits i'm going to launch t2 micro and this is my key which i just shown you and this is the user data okay let me create user data friends i'm just pressing control here when this server boots i want to run a couple of commands let me create one shell script I'm just creating this shell script escape by adding data and uh, what I want uh, when this server first time launch it set the host name to yoga server I'm just echoing some data into etc host name file which is a default file in Red Hat 7 and uh, then I'm doing uh, echo this particular message in uh, etc host and then I'm running if config command then grepping for inet and then uh, ignoring local IP uh, which is a loopback IP then I'm doing arc to get actual IP of that server and uh, putting that into etc host file 
then I'm creating a user. So this is the script which I want to execute it uh, once my instance get launched or getting launched. Okay, friends. So this is my user data file. Now let me create one instance. AWS EC2 run instance image ID and this is the subnet I'm using. This is the security group. I'm pressing enter here now. Okay, if you see friends, uh, it was very quick. So my instance is created and this is the details which I got. I want to explain you uh, what it means. This is the owner ID, which is uh, my account. This is the reservation, which is Amazon site information. They give. Monitoring is disabled. I have not enabled any monitoring. Root device, like operating system device is EBS type. State code pending. Right now, my instance is in pending state. It means it is not created yet. And if you see, this is the VPC ID, which I got. This is the instance ID. Just keep note of this value. We will need this to check the status. I'm just copying it on my clipboard. This is the image ID which we used. And uh, then this is a public DNS IP. Or uh, you can say public DNS entry. This is the key name which I used. Key name mean uh, the SSH key pair which I used. This is the security group created. This is the client token thing. And uh, let me show you other bits. It is Zen hypervisor and uh, this is the devices uh, hard drive basically SDR one so friends that was easy so let's do one thing let me show you what is the state of this instance now i'm just copying this instance id again because i missed it earlier this is the instance id so to check the state of instance friends you can run command aws ec2 describe instances followed by dash dash instance id then instance id i'm just doing output uh, in text format okay if you see here where is the state parameter state 16 this instance is running right now so it means our instance is created and it is in running state or simply you can grab here if you want or you can use filter I'm going to explain uh, filtering how we can uh, use filters to uh, get specific information from AWS command I'm going to explain in uh, coming videos because that's a bit uh, bigger topic so this instance is running friends okay so here to connect it I'm using command SSH EC2 dash user. I explained this is the default user on uh, AMIs. This is the public IP. If you see, I got public IP from this particular bit, which is network thing. Like I got this IP. Followed by dash i dash i mean uh, identity file. Identity file is my PAM file. I have already copied this file to my home directory here. So I'm saying yes because this is the first time we are connecting to. Uh, get uh, this particular host non uh, to SSH keys uh, I have to say yes okay friends it is saying permission denied uh, so something is not working so let's debug it okay friends so it was very easy uh, what I believe if you see here I got hint why it is failing unprotected private key file because I copied it from my Windows server to my this particular Linux server, which is our AWS management host. It is saying permission is 770 for that uh, PEM file. Let me check. It's 770, friends. That's the reason. Uh, it This is a secure file. This is like your key to a particular lock. So you need to keep it with yourself only because with this permission, anyone in my group can read write or uh, uh, like execute uh, because it got all permissions so let me change it i'm changing more to 640 sorry 600 i don't want anyone except me to read this file okay so let's try now same command connect connectivity command okay friend Jehu, if you see we are connected to our server now and uh, this is Amazon server now friends, your gate server. 
if you remember in my user data here I'm showing you user data okay I have to look back uh, this was user data let me show you which I created here for I have added this user data into this instance so host name I set it to yogi server if you see here host name is set now let's verify whether etc host entry got created and whether this test user got created it by default uh, during boot or not I'm just pressing control C here so first let me elevate my permission to root I'm running sudo okay so to check user I can run ID and then username if you see this user got created that's good our user data worked let me show you local file entries if you see this is the custom data which we entered so it got uh, all the data friends so that's a beauty of uh, Amazon if you see like command line it's very easy to launch an instance to log in and you can script it friends if you want so I believe this will be handy for you if you like this one just hit like button if you have any suggestion or any query or you want to share any information just put a comment on my youtube channel i will just i will be happy to discuss that with you so thanks for watching this friends and uh, have a good evening or good day bye